So your eye doctor is asking you to have a retinal scan done and you don't even know what it is. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is, why it's important and why you should have one done as often as your eye doctor recommends. Stick around. So in the past 10, 15 years, retinal imaging has become more and more popular in eye doctor's offices. And one of the reasons is that in order to see the retina, and once I explain to you where the retina is, you'll understand it a little bit better, it's very difficult to see. You're shining a light in the pupil, and of course the pupil's closing up. So it's kind of like looking through a, a keyhole at the back of a room. Now you want to see each side, but you can't, no matter how you angle yourself. So what we used to do was we would dilate the pupil, which made that keyhole bigger, and then we would use what's called an indirect ophthalmoscope to view with a, with a lens in our hand and a light on our head to view the retina as best we can. And of course, it's really difficult to see. Everything is upside down and backwards when we view it. You see a very small portion at one time. And when you're done, if you see something that you need to document, you have to draw it. So that's one of the biggest limitations. I'm not much of an artist. Uh, my, retinal, um, my retinal drawings were always horrendous. Um, but that's why I bought a... Um, Optos Optomap and I'm going to talk primarily about the Optomap today because that's what I have but it is an amazing amazing machine. Let's talk about what the retina is. The retina is a very thin lining in the back of the eye which collects all the data from what we view and transmits it to the brain. When we view our world we see everything our retina see everything upside down and backwards but when it sends all that information to the brain, it reorients it into the proper way of being able to see. The retina is made up of 10 layers of blood vessels, nerves, and photoreceptors. The macula, which is that little dark spot in the, in the, the very center of your retina, is what's responsible for us being able to see really fine detail. And that's because there's six to seven million cones in the retina. There's 120 million rods in the peripheral retina, which cannot perceive color, but is responsible for motion, picking up motion. And it's also uh, gives us all of our peripheral vision and uh, the ability to see at night. So here's an image of the retina. As you can see, that big yellow spot in the middle is your optic nerve. And the dark spot in the center is your macula. You can see the retinal vessels. The, they tend to run in pairs, and the thinner is the artery and the thicker is the vein. And we can, we can tell so much from this. And then way out at the edge is the, what we call the peripheral retina, and that's where things like retinal holes, tears, and detachments can occur. So now you're wondering, well, what kind of diseases can it detect? Many, many eye diseases. Glaucoma, macular degeneration. Um, yeah, even, even if you have advanced cataracts, you could be able to tell on the Optomap. Diabetes, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, thyroid disease, brain tumors, high cholesterol, melanomas, and plaques. There are over 2,000 ocular and systemic diseases that the Optomap can detect. That's impressive. So you can see why we want to have it. Um, the number of things I've picked up in my practice has been unbelievable. I haven't kept count of it, but uh, it is definitely into the thousands of the number of things that we've seen from patients coming in with retinal tears, having no idea they had them to um, I've probably had a handful of melanomas. Um, certainly many times picking up high blood pressure or diabetes. I've picked up diabetes on a number of people with the Optomap. So the next question you have is, well, is it safe? Well, it's not like an x-ray where you're having certain type of rays enter your eyes that we wouldn't want to enter our eyes and you only should have it done every so often. Not at all. This is just light, regular light. It can be a little bit bright, but it literally is just a scan. And that's about how long it takes, that long, for each image. We usually like to do 
Um, I like to get about six images per eye. Um, we have you look straight ahead, we have you look up, which gives us the superior retina, which is where the highest risk of retinal holes, tears, and detachments can occur. But it is so safe that both pregnant women is safe to use and children. And we do a lot of children on the OptoMap, especially when we feel that there's a need to. And in most cases, they're better at it than adults. And the other cool thing is it becomes part of your permanent record. So let's say, um, you come in one year and you say, I've, I've had this diagnosis of whatever, and I'm wondering if it's affected my vision. Well, it's, it's easy. We just go back. We can set them side by side, compare last year to today. And that has been really, really helpful in many cases. I have a, um, a friend of mine who's an old neighbor of mine that I've known for over 20 years, and he's been a patient for more than 10. And every year he and his wife come in on the same day. And a few years back, a few years back, maybe five, six years back, um, was the first time that we met him on the OptoMap. And he had a very distinct freckle in his eye. So I let Jack know that we, sh we need to keep watching this just to make sure that it is a freckle and that it's not something else. At some point in time, around those years, he developed some cataracts, and I sent him off to a cataract surgeon, and then he came back to me. We put him on the OptoMap, but at that time, just that month, we had bought the California OptoMap. It was their newest series of OptoMaps. And what was really cool about it is, with color separation, you could go through the layers of the retina and see different layers of the retina, and unbeknownst to me, it makes a freckle look like a freckle and a melanoma look like a melanoma. So Jack and his wife being examined, Jack's in the exam chair, I go over to look at his retina, I go through the layers, and I don't know what I looked like when I went through the layers of Jack's retina, but he picked it up and he's like, what's wrong with you? And I said, um, I don't like the way that freckle looks anymore. Not that I have this new software. I am going to... Um, send you up to a retinal oncologist at the Mass Eye and Ear. So Jack gets to the Mass Eye and Ear, gets tested. He has a melanoma in his retina, and they do something called proton beam radiation to kill the tumor. Fortunately for Jack and his family and his friends, um, it hadn't spread, hadn't gone anywhere else and he was treated. As I recall, it was a fairly short-term treatment that he had to go in for a, a number of times. And Jack is clean of the melanoma. He retained his vision. He gets to go on with life. And that early detection was key. So he is probably my best example of why you need to get an OptoMap. So please, get to your doctor, get an OptoMap done, and do them as often as they recommend, and you're going to be doing yourself a huge service. In the notes down below this video, I am going to put Jack's testimonial he did for me in the practice, and it, it takes the story I just told you and puts it in his words, which is really moving. Jack did a great job, and uh, I wanna share it because it just goes to show someone who is going through life, not having any issues, comes in, has a major issue, all of a sudden his life is turned upside down and he gets it taken care of and put it, gets his life back on the right track and it is all because of the early detection. And until I talk to you next time, take care.